Okay. Alright, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. We return to Mass Effect 1. Last time, Commander Cecil Shepard and his trusty companions, Caden Alenko and Ashley Williams, went to a trial at the Citadel Council to try and rout the evil Spectre Saren that capped his buddy in the back of the head and fucked us over on Eden Prime. So, after uh, the Council dismissed us, now we're on the search for clues. So we have a mystery to solve, kids! Alright, so, I think we can go and, uh, I think we can go and talk to the Admiral over here now, because we couldn't before, because I think it was before the cutscene. I think we can talk to him now. No, I'm wait- Commander. Ooh, why not? I thought we could talk to him. Commander. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. Maybe we can come back to him later. It must be- they, I, he is, uh, there is something that, that he does. Up to something. What are you doing? What? what? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. I will. Um, yes, is there something you want? I will shove my fist up your butt. Let's do this. Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Alright, sure, let's do some dumb shit. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Alright, so we have to scan all the keepers, all these little spider guys that are spread around. There's one of them that's on the edges out here. I remember seeing him. He might be over this way. There are several. I think there are three in this room. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. If I remember correctly. So we have that guy over there who we already hit. Uh, is there another one over here? Uh, let's see here. Come on, Commander Shepard. You gotta work on the cardio, bro. You've had you've had too much time on the couch. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. I think it's up here in the Citadel Prime area. I think I remembered. Yes, there he is. Okay, I see him. Alright, we're gonna talk. To, we're gonna scan you. Okay, you got scanned. And I get, I get 30 credits, and I get 12 XP for each one of those that I scan, so that's cool. Um, we're gonna check the journal, actually, just to see this quest. So, unusual readings. So, we have to investigate... Uh, oh, sorry. No, that that is not what I'm looking at. Citadel, scan the keepers. Okay, so we have 20 of them to scan. We have found two so far. <coughs> or I should say we found two. There, We have actually seen a lot of them uh, spread around the Citadel, uh, at least in our last episode that we did of this. So we're going we're gonna to wind up finding them all. We're going to wind up finding them all because I'm a completionist and a psychopath. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. One thing you do have to worry about, though, when you do play this is the sprint button is the space key, but the space key is also the uh, interaction key. Unless you change the bindings, but I really don't enjoy changing the bindings unless it, the controls are very, very, very bad. 
All right, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go back down. But I wouldn't believe so we can now start scanning some of this crap. Uh, let's see what we got here. I think we, we went around this floor already, so we can leave here. There might only be two in here. There might only be two. Um, Alright, so yeah, it looks like there's only two. Okay, so we're going to leave here. We're going to go back to the promenade. I think there's a few keepers down there, too, that we can immediately scan. Um, and I think we're going to work our way back to the consort and have a conversation with her. Because we didn't do that in the last episode. The elevator banter is fun. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yes. Wait, is there a press space bar to do something? Can I interact with them while they're doing that? I don't remember if I could do that in the original game. Alright, another one here. Alright, scanned his ass. So we got him. So now I think we'll work our way back. Uh, we can go down to the wards too, actually, and we can pursue some of our other stuff. Because we've seen the promenade. Also, there's another keeper over here. So we've seen the promenade. There are also keepers downstairs. So we'll have to probably get those as well. There's a few scattered around down there. So we're going to go down to the wards. So this is a little bit of a, uh, a different area. This is kind of like the slummy area. Like, if you're thinking of, like, Star Wars, like, Coruscant type of idea, like, this is, like, the lower levels of Coruscant. Uh, all right, let's go down. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Alright, so now we're in the wards. We're in the shit section of town. This is where a lot of looting, I think. Do you really think, I think we'll there's a lot of shit here? we can find in here. He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. Oh, it's That's Garrus. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. Or is that not? There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Oh, that's not Garrus. It's just a dangerous similar, man. Similar looking Turian. Sorry, that's not racist at all. Um, let's go. Oh, another another keeper. We can scan him. I think we have five now. See here. To the wards. Okay. Well, I, oh yeah, this is the in between whatever. So I mean, not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Ashley's a psychopath. I just want to point that out. That's why I'm gonna freak her face. What is this open? Oh, another keeper. Scan you. Scan. Do I have a... Where, where, how close am I to level up? Oh, yeah, you do have a nice little experience points thing to, like, show if you when, when and if you're going to level up. So I, I got a ways to go. I got another thousand. But we're going to we're gonna take a, a jaunt through here. I don't remember exactly. I, I need to relearn, like, the layout of the Citadel and stuff like that. So this is just kind of me exploring and figuring out all the stuff that I've forgotten over the years. Because it's been, it has been a while since I played the first game. Ooh, Citadel Transit. Thank you very much. That's him. Oh, God. What the? I forgot about this bullshit. Shield thing. You have no face now. I want you to understand that. Bring it on. Hmm. Oh. Those were Saren's men. Area secured. 
Well, screw those guys. I forgot about that encounter. I want to I grab their shit. There's your crap. Is there only... Wait a minute, where, did they not drop anything? Oh, okay, they just disappear. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, now we're going into the bar. Yeah! Oh, oh, we have to do it. We have to do it. Where, where is, where is the dance floor? Okay, no. All right, that's the guy we have to talk to. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I do love Rex. He is one of my favorites. Him and Garrus were my mains in this game, and they probably will be again. Yeah, right, you know what? Let's let's sit down for an Astari strip tease, shall we? Oh, yeah. Let's relax. Yeah. Are you gonna move? Yes. 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 Okay. Well, I mean, that was about, you know, like 20 seconds. Liberally, 20 seconds. So, you know, that, that that's like twice my normal average. We're good. Okay, let's see. Ooh, General Septimus. Hello. What are you doing here? Go away. Oh, yeah, I have to... Interested in talking. Hey, I got to... There is some stuff that, like, if you don't do certain shit... Uh, during the game. Well, I should say if you don't do stuff, but there are certain NPCs that obviously stick out and you can still, like, select them. But you can't really talk to them until you are at, at a point in a quest where you can actually speak with them. So, sometimes that's the case. We'll see. We can talk to Harkin here, because Harkin, uh, Harkin is an ass clown. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I think they redid his character model. His character model looks different, I think, than he did in the original. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. God, I really hope that herpes is curable in this fucking universe. That is, I could say that's disgusting, but I don't really care. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. 
You got off easy, if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. He's a dick. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Alright, I got what I needed. Ooh, and I got a hefty amount of HP, too. Oh, do I have to go? Okay, no, I gotta talk to a patron. I don't know who that guy is. So it's just a... I got business here, but not with you. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to talk to Harkin again. I already talked to him. This is about... The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Okay, so... Uh, I think that's all we can do in the club. Actually, do we want to get a drink? Let's get a drink before we leave and leave here shit-faced and drunk because we can do that in this game. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. What? Hi, be with you in a minute. Give me my drink, you stupid... God damn it! Yeah, I think I gotta travel back here anyway, so screw it. Alright. Now we're gonna go back this way. Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter. Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. But he's just... It's very possible that he could have just made that up based on your current knowledge. Alright, let's see here. So the markets. Alright, let's see what's going on in the markets. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, I remember this crap, yep. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hmm. Some standard stuff. Hmm. Okay. Didn't need him. I don't think I can talk to any of these other guys. This is just a general market area they have where you can just buy stuff. I could have sworn there was a... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I can talk to this... No, that's Caden. Uh, okay, I think that's it for the market area, so we're gonna keep going through here. What is this? Conra- Oh, I think I remember this guy. Is that really- You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are- My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? This is weird. I'm Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Weirdo. Don't stalk me. Ooh, more things. Oh, the bolus. What are you doing? Best place on this world oh, another, for upgrades. Another keeper as well. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Will I, though? Will I? Yeah, no, okay, everything else here is currently out of my price range, which is fine. Another one of these. Now, how many does that, how many does that give us now?
Hmm. Interesting. Uh, all right. Scan the keepers. All right. We have seven out of twenty. So that, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, here it is. Here's the here's the fast travel point. Okay, exit. I don't want to go there yet. We still got to explore the rest of the wards. So I think. Okay, I think I'm good over here. So we're gonna continue around. Another area here. Oh, I remember this. This is like the, uh, like the main Commander hub Shepard? area. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Oh God, no! This thing. I'm. Pa Hang on a second. I have to save this, because I can't remember if this is the bitch I can punch in the face. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Now get out of here! You get out of here! You stay out of here! What is this? Okay, that's that. That's an elevator to the Presidium, so we're not going to go down that. Oh, what is this? Observe the scene. Look at all that. Purple buildings and shit. So much purple. And space cars. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. Yes. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. I can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. All right, that was an awkward conversation. Ashley, get naked. Okay, that t that goes to Seasec Academy. I think if I remember correctly, this goes to the Med Bay. So why don't we go pick up Garrus? Yep, Med Clinic. Oh, actually, before I go in there, I'm going to activate this so we have it. And scan this keeper. There's another one. So this one is now unlocked. Let's go in the med bay. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Whoa, man.
Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. All right, now we got uh, Garrus on the team. Garrus is my boy. Garrus is the guy. He is your right-hand Turian man. He is the ultimate dude to have on your side, and he is a monster with a sniper rifle. So what we're going to do here is, since we have so much, I'm going to get him up to this point here. I want to get him up there a little bit, up there a little bit, and then we're going to... Because that was when we unlock sniper rifles, so that's okay. And we don't need to do anything else here. He can put his helmet on, but the difference is, is that Garrus's helmet uh, covers his whole face. I don't really like that, because I do like his facial expressions. At least Shepard's, you can see his mouth and stuff, and you can see him running around, and most of the other humans. So I might keep his off, I might keep Rex's off. Um, but I do like it on the regular humans. And sometimes I do like having Shepard behind a mask, it is funny. Um... All right, so we're going to just go to equip him real quick and see what Garrus is working with. So Garrus has two spots in his armor, or in his lancer. So he has a lancer assault. Okay, that, that's not bad. Okay, he doesn't have any alien armors. Okay, and we sold those. All right, so he is stuck with his with this loadout for right now. I'm getting Metagel. Um, I could talk with her, which I will in a second, but I just want to search the med bay. Or anything that might be useful. It looks like I think that's about it. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's spot. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay. I can afford that. I can also afford that. Yeah, so they have all these, like, perma upgrades that you can buy as well, which is nice. Um, so you don't have yes, to do Commander, that. Yes, Commander. Is there something there. I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice really? You're still sewing up bullet wounds? You basically just opened up a doctor's office and essentially, what is a slum? 
Oh, I can observe. And Codex. Alright, so. We did that. Now we gotta go to CSEC Academy and go grab our boy Rex. And Rex is my second best boy. The only reason why he's not as Garrus' level is because he's not a companion. Garrus is... I think the only... Well, I shouldn't say that. No, there is one other person. But Garrus is one of two characters that you can carry through all three of these games. And he is my right hand man. I always have Garrus on my squad. No matter what. I just rotate the other ones out on occasion. Alright, so this is CSEC Academy. Who is it? Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Okay, so he... I have to go. So right. he, he's just You're a rando. Oh! We'll see you around, Commander. Nice, there's another one of these. Alright, cool. And... Here we go. Alright, we're gonna go into Citadel Academy. CSEC Academy. Look at that hip swivel. That man jogs like a champ. Look at him. Alright, so I guess we're going... A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. No one cares. If I start hearing repeats of those, I will skip them, by the way. I'm not going to make you subjective to that, because that does make that elevator ride a little bit longer. There's Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Alright. Now we got our other best boy, Rex, so we gotta, we gotta deck him out a little bit. And also, again, his helmet covers his entire face. Even though it is really cool, I love Krogan armor. Krogan armor looks awesome. Um, but again, it kind of covers up the emotes of his face, and I do really like his face. So we're gonna we're gonna give him some of his uh, general stuff. Again, this is kind of a okay. Unlocked finesse. Okay. And again, we don't really have uh, any uh, more stuff to give him, uh, so we're going to leave it there. Oh, okay, we have another Citadel Rapid Transit Terminal. Exit. Okay. So, uh, I think there's a few other areas that we can explore in here, so let's go take a look. What's down here? Ooh, okay. Oh, another Keeper. There we go. What are you? Requisitions. One sec. Looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? 
How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. Do the grenade upgrade. Okay, that's all we can afford for now. Um, okay, so let's see here. Well, actually, I can talk to Garrus and I can talk to Rex right now, so why don't we talk to them, because we haven't really heard from either of them. I used to oh, have never mind. office here. Okay, I can, I can talk to him on the ship. Half my time doing paperwork. So that was the requisitions. I forget what's down here. What's down here is this just the front door. Okay, this just leads back to the front door. Um, and I don't think there's really anything else. There is an elevator that goes up to the Presidium. Oh, there's this. It goes up here. What are we looking at up here? Uh, this is... Oh, okay. okay this is like an office-y type area. Straight. Your business... Looking around. Oh, this is the, um... Have you been here? Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. Really? Okay! How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he... Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Okay. I I remember this vaguely from the last time. Okay, I see. Hello, Commander. Okay, he's just gonna say hi. What about this room? something we can learn from one of these computers. Yay, nay, nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. This is an empty room. What's up here? Like an observation deck thing. Ooh, okay. Examine the terminal. Keep examining terminals. I will examine terminals to the end of time. And a keeper. Scan you. I think I have about half of them now, or I'm very close to having half. Oh, okay, there's more shit here. Codex entry, and there's an elevator. I forget where this... I don't think this one opens, actually, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go... Alright, so we have to go back to the nightclub. Uh, actually, we have to go to the markets, too. We have to go meet with Corbin and figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, so why don't we go back up top. And we'll fast travel there, because now we have all the fast travel points that we need. So all we gotta do is fast travel, I believe. I think there is a fast travel point in the market, so we can just travel right there. Uh, so wards, locations... Markets. And we will travel to the markets and figure out why our Salarian weirdo is asking us... Or, is that... Is not at, no. No, our, so why our Solarian weirdo apparently wants to kill his, uh, business partner? Oh, boy. Okay, so... What is this? Oh, in here. A bunch of weirdos standing around? Okay. Alright, so he said he was going to meet him in the markets. Where is he? Where is he? Alright, that's the same guy we had before. Is it below this? 
Or does this just go to the... Okay, lower levels of the markets. There's Jorbin. Okay. Jorbin, do you have, like... Why do you have armed guards? Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by, Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Okay, so... Now we've gone down a further rabbit hole of shenanigans. Because reasons. Uh, so now we gotta go back up and talk to this jackass. Because I think he's he should still be at CSEC Academy, so I'm just gonna have to go find him again. There is a lot of running around in this portion of the game before we actually get out into the open galaxy and start exploring with the Normandy. Like, they, they send you through a lot on the Citadel, uh, but it is also to gather up all your, you know, your allies and all that other crap. Okay, so we'll go to Sister. Okay, I believe he was up here. Yes, there he is. There, there's the exclamation point. We have our mini map in the lower right hand corner. Alright, you're gonna all right, you're gonna you're gonna tell me what the hell you know. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the keeper. Uh he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Alright, there we go. Uh, how close are we to level up? Ah, we're getting there. We're getting there. And, okay. So, what we're gonna do is... So, we did our little thing for them. Uh, so now what we're gonna do is... I think we're gonna go back to Fist and see what's going on there. Uh, we're gonna go to the club. Everybody in the club. Cora's dead. We're gonna go back there. And now we're gonna have a good old-fashioned shootout at a bar and kill a bunch of fucking people! Oh, that's the, this is the markets. Where is Cora? Okay, Cora's dead that way. 
it is nice that they do give you the directionals on this. It does help quite a bit in navigating these maps sometimes. Oh, yeah, no, there is a lot of shenanigans in there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to gently squeak around the corner. And then I'm going to put a bullet in his head. Take cover! I'm on it! Oh, hi. Hi, Mr. Sucky Bucky. <laughs> Alright, I think it's here on most of the some motherfucker. God, I love this sniper rifle now that the scope isn't garbage. Fun, fun. Your head is mine! We got them all, Shepard. Actually, I am going to search this room really quick to see if there's anything I can grab. Which it doesn't look like there is. Yeah, no, with that sniper rifle not being a piece of garbage, that makes this game a million times better. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse you really want to die? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> For exit is! Oh, Paragon points. Oh, and stuff I can loot. Ooh, manual override, definitely. Oh, here we go. Take all. Alright. I want to see some equipment here and see if I can... Alright, so this does better in everything, so this is going on you. Yes, transfer the install upgrades. Okay. That works. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, no, that's an Avenger 2. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? For shotguns. Eee, it's more accurate. That is true. No. Let's see if I can upgrade whatever. Okay, Garrus needs... Yeah, he needs the new pistol. He also needs this. The shotgun? What's, what's Rex rocking right now? I can live with that for him. Alright, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna reduce that to Omni Gel. Yes. Oh, we have. Oh, we had. Right. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the armor anymore. Okay, and this is identical to what he has, so we're gonna convert that to Omni Gel. Yes. And uh, okay, I think that covers everything. All right. Now we're gonna go talk to Fist. Oh God. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. 
Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Got a little bit of renegade, but that's fine. Ooh, maybe a little bit. Ooh, we leveled up. Okay, we're gonna level up first before we go rescue the Quarian. Ooh, I can unlock sniper rifles. Thank you very much. That is 100% what I'm spending all that on. Got a little bit of renegade, but a little bit of renegade's fine. Oop, okay, we need to do all the squad. All right, so what do you got? Okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna be a thing. Because Garrus loves sniper rifles. Those people that don't know, Garrus really loves sniper rifles. Just like Rex loves shotguns. Motherfucker. Show me your face and I'll cure all your ills. Don't screw with me, Jimmy. I will destroy you. Come on, show me your face. I walk right towards you. Come on. Thank you. Ugly. Burn in hell! Oh, I forgot I'm on a timeline for this. Secure. Shit. Move your ass. the shadow broker where's fist they'll be here where's the evidence no way the deal's off I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. 
Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how many- Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Yeah, I don't know why I was crouching. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do for the future is, um, unless, uh, well, I can't remember. I think we may have 
one more? I think we may have one more. Uh, yeah, I think we do. We have one more person I think we have to pick up. Um, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out characters. Um, pretty much like... I'm going to keep Garrus. Garrus is my right-hand bro. He's always going to be with me no matter what. Uh, unless it's the very beginning of a game and I don't have him. The secondary character, I'm just going to keep switching them out. Um, so that way we can get like a good amount of the dialogue and stuff in this. Uh, so right now, first of all, we're going to go to the squad and we're going to outfit Tally. So she likes pistols. We're going to save with pistols. Armor. Shield boost. There you go. Electronics. Yeah, unlock that. And I also want the overload. Dampening. Okay. I think that works. Equipment. Ooh, recoil dampener. Okay. Okay, so the bypass shields with damage is less. now, so we're going to leave her as is. Uh, hang on a quick sec. Okay. So now that we've gotten Tali and we've exposed Saren's vile ways, I think we're going to call uh, this episode for right now. So we're going to save. And I'm going to do a new save, actually. Okay. Game is saved. Uh... I will talk to you guys later on the next episode of Mass Effect. Goodbye.